Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have another live story for you. You guys seem to really like these live story videos, so I'm going to do a few more. I mean, I've had 20 years of complete hilarious moments in my life and I'd like to share those with you because you like it and I love telling stories. I mean, I tell all of these to everyone anyway. Might as well put it on YouTube so you guys can get a little backstory of my life and hopefully by the end of all my life stories you know who I am. So. As you can tell by this title, it's going to be pretty interesting, to say the least. So, let me put you guys back in the time. Let me let me get you to feel what I felt at the time. This was fifth grade, right? Fifth grade. I just got my first, uh, well, no, it wasn't my first cell phone. It was like, you know, I, was, I got a cell phone very young. You know, people are saying like, oh, these kids these days, they have iPhones and whatnot. But I was in third grade and I had a cell phone. And I don't really see what was wrong with it, you know. But fifth grade comes around, I get a new phone. It's got a camera on it, first time ever, right? And, you know, everyone was, like, tripping. They were all looking at my phone. They were, like, trying to play with it because it was so cool. No one else had a phone, really, at the time other than maybe, like, one or two other people. So I was out. We were out in the, the playground, right? And on the playground, there's this huge track that goes around it. And what we did for PE that day was do laps around the track i mean that's something that we did a lot so here we are right we're, we're doing laps around track i just got my phone the night before literally just got the phone and you know i'm walking with my friends and then right in front of us are some girls now that's just going to tell you kind of like where we're at in this little track right so i was on there and i was playing pac-man right because it was so cool being able to play pac-man or a game on a phone and you know most people take that for granted these days because of apps and it's just so easy to have an app on your phone back then if you wanted to play a game you had to have like a game boy or something like that you know you or you'd have to go home and play a game so i was playing pac-man on my phone and you guys know how rumors work and if you've ever been in a rumor where a lot of people say it and eventually everyone just thinks that way and they believe it and it's no longer a rumor it's just what they accept as the truth well that's what happened to me that day and it still happens you can ask any one of my friends they all know about it and it's just like it stuck with me so what was happening i was playing pac-man right and the, the girls were walking in front of us and one of my friends were like as a joke i'm sure you guys have done this before he was like oh aaron stop taking pictures of their butts and I was like, well, I'm playing Pac-Man, you know, in the straightest tone ever, you know, not even getting upset. I, I didn't think anything of it. And then someone right behind us heard that. They went back to the other group. And I'm talking, this is the entire fifth grade, not, not the entire, well, you know what? I think it was the entire fifth grade. Um, or I don't know if it was PE or something. It, there was a ton of people out there and there were other classes too. It could be at the end of the year. Not sure. So they go back and tell a group, they go back and tell a group, and it's starting to spread around that I'm taking pictures of girls, but more, and specifically the people in front of me, right? So it's all going around, and then I get to the edge of the track where all the PE teachers are, and they're like, he has his hand just out. And I look at him like, what? And I was, he was like, give me your phone. And I was like, no, I, these other people are listening to music and all this stuff, you know, like, completely taking the blame away from me for having a phone out he's like that's not what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about i was like what and he was like i heard you were taking pictures of girls but so i ended up getting in trouble for that right i had to go to the office phone got taken away i mean it, the whole shebang you know it was so bad and the fact that that rumor is still stuck around with me is a little bit concerning of how fast word travels in fifth grade so Hopefully you guys haven't been in any, like, rumor mill predicaments like that, but it was just, you know, some dumb. I was just playing some Pac-Man, and then someone had to go and ruin it and get my phone taken away. So, I didn't, I don't, I didn't get any, in any trouble at home. I think I might have gotten, like, grounded or something from the phone from, like, that night, but nothing too much. So let me know down below if you guys have ever been caught up in a dumb rumor that's still stuck around to this day, or if it was, like, yesterday, and you're having to battle it today. But trust me, no matter what people say, don't do anything irrational. Don't just fight back. Just write it out. It's okay. It doesn't end your life. You know, it's it still gets brought up for me, but I don't really care, you know. I'm I'm not that type that just cares about like what people say. 
I'm very mellow in a sense. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's another life story. Fifth grade, you guys asked if I had any, like, school stories. That was one. I have so many, so many more. So, if you want this to come back more life stories, hit that like button. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe. Come on, come on. I need your numbers. Nah, nah, nah. Just subscribe if you want to. Comment if you want to. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. My name is Aaron. Peace. Damn, I'm feeling amazing. Damn, I'm in the matrix. My mind is living on cloud nine, and this nine is never on vacation. Start up that Maserati and zoom, zoom on racing. Popping pills in that lobby, and I pray they don't find her naked. And I pray you niggas is aging. Shooters go after Judas.